hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is funzo and if you're new here welcome on today's video we're gonna be making a simple but delicious and smooth mashed potato recipe without further ado let's get into it okay guys so we're gonna start off by peeling our potatoes now i like the knife method but of course if you like the peeler a lot more you can use a peeler but for me this is a blunt knife seriously it's blunt it doesn't cut much but it works very well for me when it comes to potatoes and i've always loved using this method now i also use this method method because somebody stole like my pillar i'm gonna show it to you on the screen right here um i used to prefer using that and then it got stolen during one of the functions and i don't like the one that i'm using here because it's too bulky and these potatoes are like medium size but for bigger potatoes i'm sure they'll be fine but for me i like the knife method which is what i'm gonna show you again um closer of course see right here i'm not removing too much and i am being careful but again like i said the first time my knife is very it's very blunt it, it's no longer sharp and i keep it that way because i actually do like it for like potatoes so i keep it that way i don't use it much for anything else aside from like potatoes So I'm just showing you there and then with the magic of the internet they are done and now we're going to cube them into small sizes now if you watched my butternut my mashed butternut recipe that I released last week which will also be in the description box um, I told you like the smaller you cut your your veggie before you boil it the faster is going to actually cook and this is what i'm doing with my potatoes i didn't want them to take the whole day so i cut them smaller then i rinsed them even though i didn't show it in the video they are rinsed and then i poured in water just enough to cover the potatoes and then you boil them and again 15 to 20 minutes because again they are very small they're gonna take less time but of course if you have more they're gonna take a little bit longer and right here i'm using my wooden spoon to mesh everything if again you saw my last video i used my wooden spoon to mesh everything but it still had lumps but if this is the only thing you have just take your time do it slowly and this is the actual pace that i was doing it at and making sure that you're removing as many of the lumps as possible if you have the other measure then use that so right here in order to get rid of some of the lumps and get the smoothest mashed potatoes use your sieve if you don't have that of course and you have the money or you have that other one use the ricer but this method is is gonna leave your mashed potatoes so smooth no lump nothing so lend this um i learned this method in culinary school and I was amazed because I'd never done this before. Usually we just use the wooden spoon, mesh it, and then that'll be the end of it. But this one, after we after you do this, it's so smooth, it's so nice, it's silky. So take your time right here. This is sped up, but take your time doing this and be patient. Your thumb will be in pain. But if you have a bigger sieve, but sorry, if you have yes, if you have a bigger sieve and but the holes are still small you can use your wooden spoon and it will be faster and at the bottom i just have a nice container that's just that's just big enough to hold the entire sieve that i have and all i'm doing is just using it like as almost like a stand so this is the actual pace i was going at to get everything done properly and that will be enough to like hold your sieve as i was saying and that's what i'm doing using it as a stand and then when it gets a little bit full on the bottom i transfer it into a container like this so right here i'm just seasoning it um you can put in your other seasoning if you want to also when it comes to the milk please just add a little at a time do not add everything because sometimes you can make it too soft if you don't like that so add however much you want for consistency and if you don't want to don't add it if you feel like they are at that nice um smoothness and consistency that you want don't add don't add the milk just add your butter or margarine um and then just move it around can you see how smooth that is 
I'm just saying the sieve method is amazing for this. Do you see how smooth that is? Guys, I, please, I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my video. Like, comment down below what other recipes you would love to see. And that's the end of it, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. We are at 600. Until next time, bye.